But you can say a blessing relating to the positive traits of your ethnicity. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So we want to look at ethnic group, you know, in determining your blessing. Your identity is unique. Your ethnicity is determined by God and not by men. For example, you didn't decide where you were born or your color. David said in Psalm 139, 13 to 14, For you formed my inward part. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my souls know very well. God has bestowed a redemptive gift on each ethnic group, a redeeming national trait. Each race is unique. There are unique gifts, talents, identities, personalities, etc. etc. We are all of infinite value. This trait can be claimed in the form of a blessing. The enemy wants to hype all the stereotypes or the negativity. You know, the enemy wants to promote false statistical data. But you can say a blessing relating to the positive traits of your ethnicity. For example, Jews are known for their creativity, their witty invention, wealth and business acumen. Nigerians are known for their resilience, intelligence, boldness and confidence. So you can say a blessing in Genesis 10, 8 to 10. Cush begot Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore it is said, like Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, Herek, Akkad, and Carmel in the land of Shina. Imagine people who came out of Nimrod. You too can say blessing you can look at the strength the talent the uniqueness of your ethnicity and you you can pronounce blessing on yourself and your children thank you